Hey guys, what up? Casey here from the Millennial Millionaire Challenge, and today I'm going to talk to you about how I earned $425 in one month using Acorns during a market fluctuation. Alright, so a little bit of background information. The date was, I think, June 23rd of 2016 um, is when Brexit happened. If you don't know what Brexit ha is, that's when the United Kingdom voted on leaving the European Union. And it had a pretty big um, downturn worldwide in all markets, but the United States market actually took a pretty big hit as well. I think we were down eight or nine percent. I don't really know for sure, but it was it was a pretty big hit. Um, I didn't really know what I was doing trading at the time. I'd been trading on Robinhood for a while. I'd been using Acorns a little bit, um, but I didn't really know trading all that well. I didn't know how to day trade. I didn't know how to look at technical analysis, things like that. Um, the only thing I really knew about the stock market was the younger you are, the more money you put in now, the less you have to put in later to be rich and retire at a couple million dollars, things like that. Um, I knew the basic things you hear, but it's in one ear out the other. Um, but one thing I that one, one thing that did stick with me um, was one of my finance teachers had been talking about systematic risk versus individual asset risk, um, which is pretty like to sum that up. It's pretty much the more diverse your portfolio is, the less risk there is. So like one stock, if you own one stock, um, if if a news article comes out, if a president treat, tweets about your company, things like that, um, if there's a lower earnings, anything, any, literally anything can affect the stock price. It could go up, it could go down. Um, it, it doesn't really matter what's going on in the economy. That one stock can take a big hit or jump up for any number of reasons. Um, however, so that, that's one stock, but the more stocks you have, um, there's, there's a line at some point if you get enough stocks that there's, you're so diverse that no matter what happens with any of your stocks, it won't affect your portfolio value to some degree. Um, and that, that end degree is what's called systematic risk, which is pretty much just the economy. So if the economy is doing well, you're doing well. Um, if the economy is doing bad, you're doing bad. That, that's pretty much what it comes down to. And at this time, so the stock market was down. So I decided I was going to dump a larger chunk of change into, I think I, I dumped, I put my Acorns account value just under $5,000. Um, right after that. So right after there was that big hit, I was like, I'm gonna dump a bunch of money and I dumped $5,000 approximately. And then I also added um, a reoccurring investment, which is really cool about Acorns that you can add a reoccurring investment that it, it'll diversify any amount of money. You put a dollar in, it'll diversify your dollar, which is really cool, but side note. Um, so I started doing reoccurring investments and I did it for about a month. And during that month, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my account here in a minute for you guys. Um, but I'd put that, I'd put a little under 5,000 in there and then I put money in every single month to start building up my account value. I was looking at it as a long-term investment, but it really wasn't. It only lasted for a month before I decided to go into day trading. Um, and I needed a minimum account balance for that. So I had to take my money out, but pretty much let me open it up for you here. Let me go ahead and turn on my screen recording. Three, two, one. Okay. It's recording. So, up. Oh, let's, I gotta, I gotta time it up. So down, up, down. Okay. So now I know where that's at. So if I open up Acorns, you can see that my performance, there's a $425 gain. And not all of that was during this one time. Um, I think a 418 or 419 of it was during this one month period. Um, so as you can see, June 23rd was right here. Pretty much, you can't do it because whatever reason it's not, that one day it's not on there. But there was that downturn, I was adding money and I, took, I added a little bit more. I went up to 4,700. And then I started doing reincurring investments um, every single day. As you can see, there's some, you can't really see the lines, but some of the, some of the lines are bigger. There's bigger jumps in account value. That one's a little over $100, things like that. Um, the reason that those bigger ones were happening wasn't because I was adding more money, but it was because the stock market had tar started turning around and that's when I started making my money. Um, so a great way during market downturns to make a bunch of money is if you use a diverse portfolio like this um, You can do it on anything you can do an E-Trade portfolio or E-Trade um, Fidelity Robinhood I think even has some mutual funds things like that um, But mutual funds are awesome in that sense um, They're also great for long-term growth, but that's that's a different concept right now um, So I was just looking at it acorns is awesome for that reason, but um, pretty much I dumped a bunch of money and kept reoccurring deposit um, every single day and that's, that's pretty much my strategy. Whenever there's a downturn, I'm gonna keep doing that. I'm gonna add a bunch more money in, and I'm gonna kind of walk you guys through it every single time that there's a downturn, um, and what my strategy is. I'll probably do acorns for a bunch of them. I'll probably do some normal day trading as well. Um, you'll guys see, you guys will see videos of that in the future of how I day trade pretty much every single morning at this point. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much how I made my $425, is just purely using acorns as an investment portfolio. 
um, to dump a bunch of money in during the economy doing bad and then expecting or when I expect the market to do well. Um, so yeah, if you, let, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Um, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, do whatever you got to do. Um, follow my Instagram for the Millennial Millionaire Challenge. There will be a link in the description. Um, and I'll keep you guys updated when there's new videos as well as when I'm going to be doing um, different types of things. So um, if, if I want to start a new challenge with like acorns, which I'll be talking about on Monday, um, or different things like that. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. I appreciate it and I'll see you guys next time.